Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chappy Plans. Thanks for hanging out with me for a special video that I am filming for my Laurel Denise Planner. If you would like to see how I'm going to use these pages, then stick around. What's up, Chappy fam? It's Jen with Chappy Plans. I'm so excited for today's video because I am going to share with you how I am planning to use these pages in the back of this undated vertical planner from Laurel Denise. I'm sure you probably know by now that I have switched my planner system to all things Laurel Denise. This planner is extremely functional and comprehensive, so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And because of the size, I'm actually using the pockets that are inside of this because they fit a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I have my water bill in here. I have a sort of month, um, year at a glance calendar to reference that I've printed out. And it's just amazing. I absolutely love this planner. This is the week that we're in right now. I'm filming way ahead. Um, if you look at my social media calendar here, we can see that this video is going to go up on the 15th of July. So Anyhow, I have these tabs that I got. Uh, they're just from AllieEdwards.com. I think they're regular Avery Index tabs, though. Or you could use some other type of tab. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, but this is where the year at a glance starts. At the It's at the very last page at the end of the last month in the planner. And the way I'm going to use these is to notate special occasions and events and things like that. And then you flip the page and you have your checklist. And this is where I'm going to track my cleaning. Um, I hadn't had ideas for the rest of these checklists, so they are going to remain blank for now. And then I have my health and fitness. So for the month of July, what I did is I just cut out these calendar um, blank inserts that I had left over from Casey Pleasantly Planned Shop. She doesn't sell them anymore, but you can literally buy or not even buy, just print a free monthly printable on the internet. It's very simple. Um, you can create your own too if you don't have a printer or if you just want to have different a certain size, things like that. I just used what I had. I hate wasting paper and I hate wasting space, which is why I switched to this planner as well. So this is July. I just did a little quote. It says, and so with the sunshine and the great bursts of leaves growing on the trees, just as things grow in fast movies, I had that familiar conviction that life was beginning over again with the summer F. Scott Fitzgerald. Of course, my favorite book is The Great Gatsby. So this quote was perfect for July. And I just used my mild liners and I doodled in some little summer icons at the bottom. And this is where I'm going to track my exercise. Um, I'm also going to use this space to just kind of journal throughout the month how I'm feeling. I have to pay close attention to my cycle because I am, sorry for the TMI, perimenopausal. So there are symptoms and things that I want to track and um, that type of thing. So then I have August, September because I started this planner in June, October and November and December. And then I've got, uh, that's where it ends because I know that Laurel Denise is going to be releasing the 2024 planners at, in July. No, sorry, September. So I probably will switch to, um, something new only because I have zero patience and can't wait. Um, but we'll see, we'll see when the releases come out, what I plan to do. I've, I don't know what she's, going to be doing and I am an affiliate but I still I still don't know so um yeah just stay tuned and then so that's why I have only up till December then at the back um these grid pages I just separated a summer bucket list and a winter bucket list because again I think that that's the length of time that I'm going to be in here I have to fill these in um that's going to be something fun to do I can doodle or use stickers I'll probably use stickers because I'm trying to use as many as I have and then back here is my perpetual calendar that I just stamped. And this um, is basically my way of writing things down as they come up. And then um, not after they've happened, but before they happen so that I can then migrate this information into the month at a glance, which is right here. So um, as August is approaching, I see what things I have coming up and I can move them over here. For example, let's say like I have, um, you know, I have to schedule a six month um, you know, celiacs appointment for Nora. So I would write it in here and I do use my friction erasable pen. Um, 
unless it's a holiday or like something that I know for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure is happening, like Father's Day or Juneteenth or things like that, a wedding. Um, otherwise, I use my friction um, highlighter that's erasable and my friction pens that are erasable. And then I have a little important section over here and a key for each person in the family so I know who it's for. And then I can migrate that information to here. So for July, there's the information so I could see, oh, I had uh, my friend's birthday or things like that. Like I already knew um, that we were going to Kids Bop, so that's back here. I knew Nora was going to have a party, so that's back here. Um, but I didn't know that I was going to have a job interview. for So that's not on here. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then I just have all these extra dot grid pages at the back that I haven't used yet. Uh, but I plan to try to come up with a use for them. So anyhow, why we're here today was one, to show you how I'm using the back pages. And two, to kind of give you some ideas for this. This is your year at a glance. So there are enough spaces for the whole year, one rectangle per month. And it is undated. And then you have all of this blank space here. So I am going to do one, uh, maybe one month with you. And then I will probably do the rest um, off camera and come back and show you what I have done so that it doesn't take forever and you're not bored out of your gourd. Um, but so I'm going to be starting with June and I'm going to use this is my tray that has like all the thin washi in it that I would probably be using for this planner because of spacing um so what I think I'm going to do is June to me is like summer and fun so I'm gonna pick like this yellow like you can see this little tiny sun on here and I'm going to use it like this and where's my washi cutter? This washi cutter is so cute, isn't it? It's from Wonton and a Million. And you could just use like a mild liner, a highlighter, um, a marker, whatevs. But this way... Whoop. I want it to go all the way to the edge. So you can see how I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to use my little X-Acto knife here to trim right at the edge of these Sorry, didn't mean to hit the camera arm there. And then what I'm going to do is right in the month here. So I'm going to use, I could use little stickers. I could use stamps. I am going to use, hmm, let me think. So I'm just going to use my Tombow Furunisuke brush pen. And I'm going to just write June. Perfect. And then instead of using this section for goals, I am going to use this for um, PTA events. So I'm going to wipe this out. And right, let's see. Do I want to write events or just leave it as PTA? Actually, I have stickers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These are all my like word functional stickers. And I know I have PTA somewhere. Here we go. These are from Martina's Sticker Company. Um, I may and Francisco's uh, sticker business, who I used to be a rep for for like a year. 
and they do custom um, headers. So I'm gonna put PTA, which makes it much easier. And then this is not things, well, it could be things to remember, but I'm gonna label it as like, it would be important dates, things like that. So let me see what I have from here. All right, so I have important and remember from Allie. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm going to use noted. This one is from Robin's Planning Nest. Perfect. I don't like how this is covering up the washi, though. means I need to wipe this out again okay I mean PT is a little bit bigger but it's okay so that's basically the idea and then what I would do is I would come in with my clean color dot marker and I would put things that are definitely happening in June which brings me to this section over here what I'm going to use this for is like 2023 2024 like holidays and things that I know that are happening on the school calendar, like breaks, things like that. So I'm going to fill this out. Um, let's see how I want to label this. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put important dates. And I know these videos aren't super exciting as far as like, ooh, I'm not showing how like I'm using stickers, but these are really important. Like for me, when I was new to planning, even now, like I am always looking for ideas on how to use my pages, like bonus pages. And I feel like while this isn't maybe the most decorative, it's very helpful, I hope. In the important dates section, for example, since we're starting in June, I would put um, Father's Day. So I'm going to take my, my Pentel Energel, which is one of my favorites. This is a 0.7. Um, so I would put although this one's not writing very well. Maybe the ink is almost gone. June 18th Father's Day. And this is just for me, like nobody has to see this regularly or anything like that. So, um, and then I, I know, let's see, we had June, uh, 19th was Juneteenth, right? Was it the 19th? It's always the 19th, isn't it? Yeah. I don't like how this pen is writing at all. I think it's almost out of ink. Okay, so now you get to see how the tool pen writes. <laughs> um, what else did we have in June? And it's not PTA events because that's got its own section. So this is like family, like um, school ca school calendar things like that. Um, June twenty third was the last day of school. Okay, so that's that's really it. And then if there were like birthdays, actually, yeah, um, birthdays or something like that, I might put that here. And then what I can do is come over here and do, actually in June, there were 
quite a few PTA events, like a lot. Um, so if I'm back planning, what I would do is take this. And I would want to write a little bit smaller. So I want like a thinner pen. So I'm going to use my Muji gel pen. It's almost, this one's almost out. I got to order some more. So the second was kindergarten orientation. These are responsibilities that I have as PTA president. They're not necessarily like for my family or anything like that, but I needed to have a separate section for PTA stuff each month because there's so much. There was a summer book distribution event that I had to be at. On the ninth, there was um, kindergarten moving up. and uh, our last PTA meeting. I don't like that the dates are so dull. So this was the teacher luncheon. Wow, there was a lot. Colorathon fundraiser. That was on the 21st. And on the 22nd was fifth grade graduation. I had just enough room. If I ran out of room, what I would do is I have these white post-it notes. I would take one of these and just like add space like this and be able to just flip it up. That's all. Just, just a quick little hack for you there. All right. And so then if we move down here, we have... Um, Aja's day, as we say it in our house. Juneteenth. And last day of school. Let's see if there's anything else that would have happened in this month. Yep, we have, let's see. We had a graduation party. And that was like a whole family event. So that's why this is going back here. And that's it. So that's hopefully gives you an idea. I am going to off camera now do the same thing. I'm going to write in all the important dates for, because this is going to be June, July, August, September, October, November. July, August, November. Yep. And then um, you, I'll come back and show you what I've done. Okay, so I'll see you in a YouTube second. Okay, my friends. So here is the finished product. So I used all of these little skinny washies, which are from like, I think Happy Planner forever ago, but these um let me zoom in these are mostly from like hobby lobby or michaels and then i didn't have an orange one so i just sliced it in half uh, excuse my hair um with my exacto knife so then i migrated all of the important dates and events to each section and I super love how this turned out because these are my like important things that I have going on. And then when I go, I can reference this and I can reference 
this to help me complete my month at a glance, which is this. And then if I wanted to decorate with some stickers, I can always add those in if there's room. Um, as far as the cleaning yearly list, I am going to add that in. So it's going to be um, broken down by, I think, I'll put each task like this and I'll separate them into sections. So I'll have doo -doo -doo -doo, weekly, monthly, and then on the other side, I'm probably gonna do three to six months and six to 12 months. And again, I'm going to use my Tombow and I'm just gonna write cleaning. Sorry, I got quiet because I had to <laughs> I had to keep track. Um and then I'm just gonna in script put checklist. And then I can do So on this part, I'm gonna write in weekly. Use my thinner gel pen and write in dust, vacuum, mop, bathroom, Wipe down mirrors and laundry. And then I will have another section and I'll do, I might not even need the other side of this. We'll see what we got. Monthly. Okay, and I sped that up super fast. <laughs> and then I have three to six months. I forgot to put um, sheets up here. And now we have six to 12 months. All right, so those are the weekly, monthly, three to six months and six to 12 months. And then over here, I'm going to put all of the months. And then you can kind of figure out how you want it to work for you. I'm just doing it by month and then I'll know by looking at this when I did each of these things. So it's gonna be very helpful in helping me stay on task for all of the different things that I have going on. I'm just gonna use my zebra mild liners here to highlight the tasks and have sort of a little bit of a color coding system, if you will. So I'm gonna do weekly, and then monthly, three to six months. Whoops, that's the brush pen. I need the regular mouth liner. And I'll do blue for six to 12. 
And then I can come in here and let's say right now we're in July. All right, so I dusted. So I can just go like this and continue to just fill that in, in that way. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions about like how I'm gonna be using these pages or um, things like that. I'm obviously gonna need to add things in here and there. Like I said, my hack for that was just using a post-it note to add in another layer. Um, but I really, really love this planner so much and these pages, which just really allow for endless possibilities. You could use these um, for social media trackers, um, mood tracking, um, symptom tracking, uh, budgeting, things like that. I actually am going to be adding in a um, tracker slash like, I don't know, not budget, but I have one huge private student loan. I have lots of loans, but right now we're working on tackling the private loan and I want to create a tracker for that. So that helps me stay motivated to get rid of that debt. So I think I'm going to do that on the back here of this perpetual calendar. Um, so I'm going to put I actually might leave this blank in case I end up wanting to do the rest of the year. So I'll come to this page and on this back side right here, I'm going to use this to create a um, student loan tracker. So I'm gonna just make myself a note that that's what this page is for. Student loan payoff tracker because there's nothing more satisfying than checking something off your list, right? Hence our obsession with planners and paper planning. Okay, friends, well, that is my video for the day. I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, you can DM me on Instagram. My DMs are always open. And like I said, I am an affiliate for Laurel Denise, so please use my link in the description box in Gen 10 in order to save a little bit of money on your purchase. And um, thank you so much for hanging out. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss my content. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, friends. And remember that you are enough. And I love you guys. Bye-bye.